I'm on the other side of this window because of the you know prosecution not thoroughly in investigating my case. And you know, when when the Dallas Police Department you know presented you know the uh, the false documents and the false witness statements and the false narrative to them, they took it at face value and didn't um, you know investigate it themselves. And therefore you know they presented they presented this this information to a jury and asked them you know to convict me, and and they did. Texas death row inmate Ivan Cantu is scheduled to be executed on Wednesday for a crime he says he did not commit. Cantu was sentenced in 2001 for the murder of his cousin and his cousin's fiance. The couple was shot to death in North Dallas. In the years since his conviction, lawyers, private investigators, and a podcast producer all claim they have found evidence that discredits testimony from a key witness in the trial. A few jurors, including the foreman, have even made legal statements saying they would not have convicted Cantu had they known the information they know today. No court has agreed to analyze the new information. Joining us now, anti-death penalty advocate, Sister Helen Prejean. She's the author of the book, Dead Man Walking, which was adapted into the 1995 movie of the same name, for which Susan Sarandon won an Oscar for her role as Prejean. Also with us, award-winning actor Martin Sheen. Off the screen, Sheen is known for his outspoken advocacy for those on death row. The pair have been leading a campaign to stop Cantu's execution. Thank you both very much for being on with us. And and Martin thank Sheen, I, yeah, thank you both. Uh, Martin, I just want to have you, if you could encapsulate for us, you, what can you tell us about the new evidence and, and why a court won't hear it? Well, that's a, that's one of, uh, of many questions and vital questions as we get down to the next 48 hours of uh, uh, Ivan Cantu's uh, uh, scheduled execution. Uh, I came into this uh, 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 about a month ago with Sister uh, Prejean asking me to uh, reach out, and I investigated uh, all the new evidence that uh, 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 the uh, Cullen County DA, Greg Willis, has refused to to initiate with his conviction in, in uh, integrity unit, which is he has access, he's the only one that has access to that. That could uh, could help number one to give him a stay, and uh, number two to review the new evidence and uh, possibly exonerate him. So wow. uh, we're very anxious to get a stay. I mean, he's not going anywhere. We, we we can't understand an act of compassion as being withheld on a man's life. So th that's what's at issue here in the next 48 hours. And uh, uh, Sister Prejean has gone through this so many times with uh, so many death row uh, inmates. And so, uh, uh, you know, she needs to be heard uh, in this vital uh, uh, conversation. Sister Ivan is scheduled to be put to death on February the 28th. It's really not very long away. This is, this is a race against time. And I wonder how he's doing. When you speak to him, how is he holding up? Well, Ivan is a man, he has tremendous executive agency, thinks of ideas, it's creative, he probably has a photographic memory. So he's participating very actively in thinking of everything he can to try to get the truth out. I'm involved because in late September, I got a letter from him where he said, if I'm executed in Texas, Will you hold my hand and pray with me as they kill me? And so when I said yes to doing that, I have already been involved with two innocent people and I knew I had to not just be with him when he's killed, but to do everything I can to prevent his death because everything that could go wrong in the case happened to Ivan Canton. And Ma Martin, what what can you do? You bring your name recognition, uh, you bring your celebrity to a case like this. Can you, can you get to Governor Abbott? Can you make people listen, do you think? Well, if he's listening right now, I would just say uh, for anyone who believes in the death penalty, we are called to, to look life square in the eye and frankly choose death. So with all the the uh, news of, of massive deaths all over the uh, every continent, it seems, in the world right now. Why is it so difficult to reach out and, and prevent when you have the power to do so? 
uh, the killing of what is, is clearly an innocent man at this point. Why, why are we in such a hurry to kill him, as I said earlier, when he's not going anywhere? So, you know, a stay would be critical right now. What is the harm? Who has right. ever felt badly about an act of compassion?